Hello and welcome to the channel WebDeupai. In this tutorial we are going to work with overlapping cards animation. We will use Chase Sapin's scroll trigger. It will be horizontal animation. So let's get started. Okay, and firstly what we need to do is to connect Chase Apps scroll trigger CDNs and also scroll to plugin. Also have connected style CSS and script.js files. Also accept CDNs. I have already connected Slucent font. So we can see it over here in style CSS in the font face rule. So it's a Slucent font which has font weight 900 and font stretch compressed, but we will use condensed only in the cards. And once we have prepared all this and we have connected style CSS and script.js files, we can start with HTML sections. So firstly I want to create container for cards. I will say cards and inside I want to create three cards with class card and for each card I also want to add custom class and h2 heading inside of each card and let's create three cards okay and once we have created html we can finish with it and start with styles so firstly what i want to do with styles is to style the body document so i want to set background black margins paddings color pink and font family slucent okay as you can see we have already applied slucent font to our headings and black background. Okay, and on the next step I want to stylize cards. The cards container will have height 70vh with 90%. Also I want to add margin auto. And for cards wrapper I want to create position relative. So the cards will have position absolute inside. But also I want to center these cards in this section using flex boxes. Okay, and each card will have a position absolute with 60%. Also I want to say to height 70 VH for each card and background will be light gray. And also I want to center the headings inside the cards. So I will also use flex boxes. Also I want to add the border radius and a little margin bottom. Okay, and once we have added general styles to our cards, we can add the styles for custom classes such as card1, card2, card3. Okay, and for card1, I want to add styles left 0 and top 0. So it means card1 will have always left 0 and top 0. And the next card in the animation will have a different positions. For card2, I want to set left 35 and top 35. And for last card I want to set 70, so it will look symmetrical. Okay, and as you can see, the cards after animation will look like this. So the first, second and third card will be overlapped and with additional effects that we will use. Also, for now, in styles, I want to add the styles for H2 headings. We'll have font size 80 pixels, font weight as we discussed at 900 and font stretch condensed, color pink and also text transform uppercase. So now it looks much much better and that's it for styles and we can start with scripts. Ok and firstly what we need to do is initialize the plugins. I'll use gsap register plugin. And we need to register scroll trigger and scroll to plugin. Ok, and on the next step I want to set timeline. The timeline will contain scroll trigger object with all necessary options. So I will say timeln equals gsap timeline and the object will be scroll trigger. And we will define trigger option. The trigger option will be container which contains cards inside. I want to set pin true and pin spacing to true. Also I want to set start point. Start point will be from the left side. It will be 120 pixels. And also I want to set end point. It will be 2000. Also we need to fix the uppercase s. It should be small s. As you can see we have already applied our options. And the last option for a smooth animation, I want to set scrap 1. Ok, and on the next step, I want to set the label to the first card. So the labels will not affect for our functionality, but I want to add it. 
and I want to set timeline with two animation. So this two animation means when we will scroll on the card one, our opacity will be changed. So it means main card will be card one and it will not be overlapped. So it will have opacity one and X percent zero. The next animation is timeline from card two. I want to set X percent 75. And opacity zero so it means when we will scroll from the card to on another card so whenever it will be first card or third card the opacity will be changed on zero because the main card will be not second and also in the same way i want to add label to card two okay second animation will be when we scroll on the card one So this animation will be used when we scroll between first and second card. So the scale will be changed. It will not be the full scale of the card. It will not be one. X percent will be minus 0 0.5. And opacity will be 0 0.5. And the last parameters that you can use for this animation is for overlapping. Okay, and on the next step, let's add next animation. Timeline to card two. So when we scroll to the card 2, and this is the main card, it will have X% percent 0 and opacity 1. On the next step, we can add animation from the card 3. So when we start scrolling from the card 3 onto the card 2, the X% percent will be changed to 75, because the card will be pulled over on the right side, and the opacity will be 0. And also I want to add label to card 3. On the last steps I want to add animation to card 2. So on this animation I want to add effects that will be applied when we scroll from the card 3 to card 2. The scale will be changed on 0 0.98. X% percent will be changed to minus 0 0.4. And opacity I want to set 0 0.6. And last parameter for overlapping position. Okay, and on the last animation I want to add timeline to card 3. So when we scroll to card 3, the X% percent will be changed to 0 and opacity 1. So in this case, the card 3 will be main card. And this is the result. When we start scrolling, the second and third cards moving on the left side, and overlaps the cards. As you can see, the second card don't have such opacity as the first card, because we have added 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 for these two cards. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and it was very useful. Uh, you can use it in your project. If you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe and take care.